welcome back to the House of Da Vinci 2 for the PC. Starting Chapter 4 now at the Body of Fiorentina in Florence, Italy, 1508. So, 10 years after Chapter 3. Alrighty. Let's see. Ah. Should be caught up in my journal. Uh, that freaking Borgia, Borgia person freaking ripped the plans out for that machine that the Vinci was working on, and um, someone stole my Oculus uh, Perpetua, so that's some freaking douche. <coughs> oh, excuse me. falling down endlessly. So Borgia and I just fell into a different time. And what is he like <clears throat> and what is he going to do with the glove? I don't freaking know. Body of Fiorentina, Florence, 1508. Man. My mind is in a state of chaos. I've never been more confused in my life. There are thousands of thoughts in my head, but I cannot get a hold of even one. I feel like I know the place I now find myself, excuse me, after jumping into the time machine well, but at the same time, it is so different, as if I were here at a different time, under different circumstances. That would mean that Leonardo's master <coughs> masterpiece is really working. But at what time have I ended up, and where is the master? What happened to Borgia that he looks so pitiful, and where is he with the glove stolen from me? So many new questions I have to find answers to. Okay, so it looks like that chapters 1, 2, and 3 happened, and then the entire first game happened, if you're looking at it, you know, chronologically. So it's chapters 1 to 3, and then all of the House of Da Vinci 1, leading up to where you jumped into the, um, into the portal at the end of chapter 7, 8... Something like that. I don't remember how many chapters it has. It's been about a year since I played it. And then it just picks up where that left off at. Okay. Okay, it's starting to make sense now. A handle. Nope, can't take the bowl. I don't have a key. That's scuffed as shit. Oop, wrong way. <coughs> Wooden disc. Wooden cogwheel. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Figure of Leonardo.
Okay, so I'm trying to move these things up. Okay. Okay, that works, I guess. Folding key. And it looks like I can still shove something into here, I suppose. Okay, folding key. Okay, so that looks like... <clears throat> okay, it looks like that. Okay, so give me this. Okay. Looks right. Can't use something for that. Metal handle. <coughs> Thingy. Giacomo, before you came to Milan, I was visited by Cesare Borgia, accompanied by mysterious men. They brought ancient but incomplete plans for an extraordinary machine and wanted me to build it for them. My curiosity outweighed caution, and I accepted the commitment, including the promise of complete confidentiality. Captivated by the prospect, I started working right away, and the Duke came to check on me only from time to time. Soon, I found the key to the immeasurable power of the miraculous device and understood that no man can be allowed to hold that kind of power. <clears throat> In time, Borgia became ever more nervous and his visits closer and closer together. He seemed forced by someone or something, fearful even, and I no longer feel safe in Milan. We found a new shelter in Florence. Alas, I could not just forget the machine. In Milan, I made only a small model, and now I wanted to see its full potential. I am full of remorse, but at, this, <clears throat> but at the time, nothing could stop me from building a time machine in the Tower of Badia Fiorentina. I had no idea what danger that put us into. It was then that Borgia appeared again in Florence, and he seemed desperate. Gone was his majesty and noble bearing, but he was no less dangerous for it. His obstinate obsession with the time machine escalated, and I was slowly getting backed into a corner. To make matters worse, that was not all. The device caught the interest of a secret and mysterious society. Giacomo, you are part of the story. Which part you will puzzle? <coughs> which part you will puzzle together on the first floor? I give you back the Oculus Perpetua, improved with a new function. But you will surely find out what it is on your own. Yay! I, I got my dealy. It's so cool looking. 
Seems I went back to the past just after I jumped into the time machine. What year is this even? 1507, I can't remember what the other one was. I didn't really look. Okay, that's before, okay. I was like, where am I at? I was like, oh wait, I'm in the tower from chapter eight or seven or whatever the hell chapter was the last one in the first game. I see a room back there. Yeah, whoops. This is one of the mechanisms I should look through Leonardo's improved Oculus Perpetua. Okay, so it's just like your glove from the first one, or the thingy from the first one that let you um, see inside machinery. So what am I doing? figures got to the gate at the end. How is it possible that one of them noticed me in the past? That's a good question, but he looked like he had that glove on. And if that's the case, wouldn't that, like, put him outside of time as well? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay. This new letter from Leonardo shed some light on the mystery. His behavior in Milan and later in Florence is starting to make sense to me, and I understand how we ended up here in this situation. Now I know that Borgia had the plans for the time machine's construction in his possession, and he needed Leonardo to fulfill the impossible task of filling the gaps and constructing the device. Borgia, loyal to his notion that the end justifies the means, decided to use me. He wanted to have his man inside to give him reports on Leonardo's progress with the machine. I'm not sure why yet, but events slipped out of the Duke's grasp and he forfeited both his status and power that only fueled his ambition to get his hands on the time machine. It seems it has something to do with the mysterious figures I saw in Florence before my jump through the time machine. Just a few moments ago, I saw them again in the past. I learned that they took the gate right after our jump through the time machine, even in its broken state, and carried it from the tower. I was scared to death by the red hooded figure as it became aware of my presence, even though I thought no one could see me in the past. Like I said, he looked like he had that glove on that I had. So I don't know, maybe that like made him immune to the effects of it, or it, it allowed him to step outside of time as well? I don't know. did find the first piece of the puzzle that this story wait that is the story on the first floor 
and bit it into a large mechanical table. The year display changed from 1506 to 1495. In Florence, I found myself between a rock and a hard place. Should I give the machine to Borgia or the secret society? I chose neither, but I needed a plan. There was only one way to get out of this mess, to go through the time machine into the past and prevent it from ever being built. The drawback of the device was its instability, as it could be only used twice in succession. That it was a good thing. I could go through the gate and leave it inoperable for whoever lay his hands on it. That is how I first overcame the barrier of time and returned 11 years into the past, to the year 1495. Okay, but if... Oh, okay, I guess. Okie dokie. Testament dated 1495, the master continued. The Oculus Perpetua was conceived as a side project of my research into the ancient, incomplete, yet incredibly advanced plant. How was Borgia able to get his hands on it? What was the role of the secret society? If I knew the answers to these questions, I could prevent the time machine from ever existing. After I arrived in the year 1495, I needed to hide my presence even from myself. But I had a plan. After your escape from the prison, I gave you the Oculus Perpetua, which you used to acquire the sketch of the finished time machine. Borgia took it, and I could find out how he would react. Wait, why would you need to hide from yourself? Time's frozen. Well, unless the actual gate that he jumps through just puts you back in time, and like it's like time's not frozen. I guess I don't. done with that damn key. Okay, what is this? Oof. Ah. 
Okay, it's one of these puzzles. Looks like. I can't remember what it's called, but it's you have to match up the freaking letters and such. Okay, looks like orbs go on the outside. Okay, so... Let me move all of these. Out of the way. There. So that goes there. Helps me keep track of it better. Up, oh, wrong way. Okay. So I J. No, I'm sorry. It's a. Uh, KC in the middle. Maybe this one, it'd be J and dot. My bad, that's what I meant to say. J and dot. E and dot. Ah. H dot. B dot. Here somewhere. It's got to be this one. Ah, I forgot to move this one. Okay. That one should be here. Uh, that one. memorandum Leonardo wrote was labeled with the year 1506. Maybe you're wondering why I haven't told you sooner. My friend, I know that you came to me from Castello Estenza, and I was worried that you were sent either by Borgia or the Secret Society. In the beginning, I did not trust you. Do not forget that at the time I did not know what I know now. As time went by, I found in you an excellent assistant and a friend. Later in Florence, I wanted to tell you everything, but there was an unexpected turn of events. A half-mad Borgia appeared in Florence, as well as people from the Weird Society, and I needed to put my plan into motion sooner than I expected.
small frames. So that squeezes in there. this thing I want to go see something ah. I'm gonna check something downstairs there's a thing on that box that looks like I can put a something on it is that the right something I can put there yes to do. Getting tired of that freaking thing popping up. Okay, all that did what? Sure, okay. Oh, what's this down here? Wait, that guy okay, turns on the opposite. There we go. Oh, polished lens. Okay. I can shove that back here to do a something with that. doesn't say. Okay. So, alrighty, so there's what? Like a polygon, a diamond, another polygon, and a spiky. Okay. Alrighty. Let me do a polygon diamond other polygon spiky nope let me see 
diamond. That polygon. That one and that one. Okay. So it was uh, the diamond. Then the polygon with like fewer sides. Then the spiky one and the polygon with like more sides. I'm not sure if that's the right word to use, but. time and stopped at the year 1508. Thus, I went to the year 1495, but you ended up in the year 1508. You're asking, how is that possible? The key element in the calibration process of the time machine is a special glove which you equipped when you went through the gate. Without it, the gate is almost useless. I built into it an important and irreplaceable component as a sort of safety precaution against anyone misusing the gate. My glove was damaged during the journey. Luckily, we still have the one you used, as we will need it. Exit the tower as soon as you can. Outside awaits the last fragment of the story and a little surprise. I don't like surprises. Ornament. Right. Warning. Case. Oh. Okay. We're done. Okay. Bye bye. Man. Freaking headphones again. I need to get me a pair of headphones. a Corsair Void Pro. Think about getting like maybe like a razor or something. Okay. An eight case with handle. Looks like that fits in here. Okay. So these numbers mean anything? Okay, there's like an arrow, then 507, then 1015, 20, 31, a blank one, which I guess is the one that I need to figure out, and then 81, 27. What's the correlation? Well, 1015 to 20, 31, that's like double plus one. Wait, so it's 507 times two, that's, yeah, that's 1014 plus one, then 1015, times 2 plus 1. Okay, so it's 20, 31 times 2 plus 1. Okay, so it's 40, 62, so 40, 63. Yeah, it's a 40, 63 times 2 plus 1 is 81, 27. Okay, so it's 40, 63, I guess. Whoops. something. So where the hell do I need a place to use a rose? Right there. Right next to me as I walk down the stairs. Ooh, and a mace. Or a lever even. Looks like a flange mace. Well, this angle. Well, never mind. I'm just dumb. I guess I suppose you can still beat someone with it, like a mace, so I guess it would suffice.
that could have ended horribly if you didn't time the, you know, let go part. You would have smacked right into the building. Hilarious, but not fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, missing something from there. That's a creepy ass statue. Hwing nut. Hwing nut? Yes. Wing nut. A winch wheel. Okay, so I guess that's the order of the shapes, and I guess that's the order you actually put them in, I guess? Something, I don't fucking know. So, one, two, three, five, six, and seven. I got the winch wheel, that's probably to move that. Stone ornament. looking statue over here. Just if yeah, I just cover that up. Ornate capsule. sense. I'm not sure. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Of the 
it's not going to work. Okay. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Hope you saw that. If not, just like freeze frame it right before I put it in there. It'll show you the thing for that one and that one. Oof. I been in the end. Giacomo, after I arrived in the year of 1495, it was risky to reveal my presence to any acquaintances. I cannot be sure how you would react, Giacomo, or even how my younger self would react, standing face to face with his double from the future. Okay, so the device that I have lets me go back in time, but time's frozen when I get there so I guess the actual gateway that I jump through it just time passes as normal I'm supposing I cannot endanger the plan this way alas I needed a sanctuary and I found it with my old friend Luca Pacioli Pacioli Pacci Luca Luca is a monk scientist and gifted mathematician I can trust without reservation in time I will surely introduce you do you remember the oculus perpetua disappearing from your room it was shortly after the unpleasant visit by Caesar Borgia, Borgia and Corte Vecchia. I needed to borrow the device so I can go follow the Duke unseen and see what he intends to do with the sketch he ripped out of your notebook. And I found out very interesting things. When I confided in Luca, he was astounded. Then he told me something I cannot write in this letter. Something I will have to tell you face to face when we meet again. This is happening now. Giacomo, look behind you. Ooh! Look behind me. Hey, it's Leo. You look different. You have no idea how glad I am to see you, dear friend. Thirteen long years have passed before we finally meet again, Giacomo. Damn, thirteen years? You seem surprised. But if you looked carefully at what I left you on the mechanical table up in the tower, you must already understand. Everything that happened, happened simply because it was part of my plan. Yeah, sorry. A mountain? Actually, to tell the truth, the fact that Borgia came through the gate with you was unexpected, but even then we gained a head start over those dangerous people. We now have to hurry to one more place where my plans will either culminate or completely collapse. I will tell you the details on the way. Giacomo, I need your help now more than ever before, but we cannot delay a moment longer. Time is not on our side. Oh, achievement unlocked. Back to the future. I like that movie. Alrighty, and there we have it for chapter four, everyone. When I come back, I'm gonna start chapter five at Sacre de Saint Michel at Turin 1508. So. Until well then, this is Indie Game Retro on the House of Da Vinci 2. Later, guys.